So hello again guys, welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, we're gonna do this, a tear coupon animation. So you go like this, it will tear the coupon and it will add the food item on the top and then it will increment on the bottom. So this is composed of an on drag, a mask movement and also a expansion for the icon. So let's get started. So now I'll have to provide actually a Figma file. This is the Figma file. These are the elements that we'll be using. Okay, the first card and the second card right here. So these are from Dai Tai, Dai tai Feng. Dai Tai Feng menu. So any restaurant menu would do, but this is basically the interface. And also, here we can see here. Let me just copy this one first. We have a one number one here, and it's actually mask, so we can move it like number two like that to have a smooth animation. So you can like do like up to number three, but for this demonstration, we're gonna do like number two only. Okay, so I'll leave that for now, and let's start actually doing some animation. Figma. So we're gonna have this one first. Okay, I'm gonna group the top part. So the bottom part is actually can you can detach this thing. So I'll just want to this part be flushed on the bottom part there. Let's just do that first, like this, so that when it breaks, it will actually be the same. Like it will not the same, but this element will be attached to this because we're going to group it. So first we're going to group them from the top and the bottom. So this top is grouped and this bottom is grouped. So that's good. We're going to place it here on the center. A bit about there. I think redeem coupon is going tear to redeem about here top there we go then we're gonna move this thing on the bottom so this is the counter bottom side we need to actually group it to align it there this can be one group okay just group it like that so this one is one group this one's one group so we're gonna label this top group as a top and then this one is the bottom and this one is a counter let's just place it inside the frame be sure to place it in, in, inside the frame counter so now we have our elements placed okay so we're gonna duplicate this then what we're gonna do is for the top part we're just gonna rotate it click and rotate it a bit like this, there, and just move it a bit like there, right about here. Okay, be sure your mouse pointer is not going outside the frame or else the card will go outside, okay? So just about there, rotate and move with our keys. Now that's cool. And what we're gonna do is duplicate it again here. And now we're gonna move it using arrow keys. Let's move it outside the frame right now. So that's outside the frame. We're not gonna bother with that one. And this thing, we're gonna go down. It's gonna be going down. I'm still using my arrow keys, okay? That. And then this mask, number one, will be become number two. You can see there. So. In the group, I just double click it until I reach the mask of number one. So you can see here, the text here. And then I'm gonna use my arrow key just to move it above like that. And also for the bottom part, I need it to be zero opacity also. So it goes like this, goes down and goes to a zero opacity. So let's just say zero opacity and just move it down with our arrow keys. I can see it there. So also, the thing will pop up, right? Uh, this thing. 
this menu thing will pop up. So let's just have this one, item one. Just gonna label it as item one. And this one is item two. Just in case we're gonna make it to item two. I think we're just gonna do we're just gonna do item one. Okay. So we can like make it a little bit smaller like that. Have it like that. Move it. I'm just seeing the positionings, okay? So I'm just gonna copy and paste it on the other side like that. So this thing should be zero opacity first because it will like pop up. So we'll have that smaller and pop up. Okay. Just gonna duplicate this one for good measure. I'll just one a little smaller with zero opacity first. There we go. And the last part is we're gonna show this one. We're gonna show this card. Wait, I'm just gonna duplicate this. We're just gonna show this card. So I don't want to bother with this card. Actually, I'm just gonna show it. So we're just gonna go one, then three. Uh, one, then two. So this one, I'm gonna align first. So that we're gonna be the good top and then a sensor. And copy it. Oops, sensor. Oh, this thing, this guy is it censored? Okay, French. All right. I just centered it. Now that's censored. I'm gonna go and paste it here. So this is an in between. So it would be disappearing, right? It will be appearing on this on the side, going to the side. So have this one move to the left side, so that it will be not visible first and then we're gonna move it later now this group 16 I'm just gonna rename it as card 2 uh card 2 there so card 2 will appear now about here the sensor and then the menu this menu item one will be actually expanding and be like this so that's 56 this is make it 56 and about here we'll move about here So there. So what we just did there is we tear down the card. We will tear tear down the card right that, like that, and then move it a bit here. So we'll have a tearing motion. Then we have moved this card all the way to the right. And this side. So the card the top card is on the farther side. You can see it again here. And the bottom card, we just give it a zero opacity. And it will be transparent going to the bottom. That goes to the bottom. And then after that, this also, this one, the mask number will be incremented to two. So we just moved it above like so. And then we have here on the third frame, we have face pasted this, this thing. The card two, this card two is over here hidden. So it will be ready for the next animation. And then this item one. So if they tear this one, this will add, let's go there. It is now here. It's just smaller and the zero opacity as it's hidden, right? And then after the animation place, it will display like this, okay? And actually, we can delete the top and bottom cards also for this last frame. So we're going to animate it now. Hmm. So this animation is just an on drag here to there. Okay. So prototype. I'm just going to delete some flows here. You see, if you duplicate the frames, it will just duplicate the flows also. 
So now just click on this card. So that's the top card. Be sure that the layers are also the same name. Okay. And then just drag it here. And we'll have an on drag animation for that one. A smart animate of 300 millisecond. I think that's good. And then here, we'll just drag, click the frame and drag this frame. Circle the frame for the prototype. Go here. And we'll have an after delay. After delay of about one millisecond and a smart animate also. Okay. So it will be so this card will be gone. Then after it will be gone, this will be incremented, right? And then after that animation, just do it here so that this item would appear and this other menu card would appear. So that's also an after delay with one millisecond easy out like that. There we go. So that's the whole the whole animation. So we'll have an on drag here. An on drag animation there. And then after the after dragging that, it will tear down this one. And after tearing down this one, it will appear like that. Very nice, right? So I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. This this one is a fairly fairly easy tutorial also. So but we have like two two anima three animation elements the masking the on drag and the expanding so i hope you don't you won't be overwhelmed by this one so that's it guys i hope you have fun learning this tutorial and consider subscribing to the channel and all the figma files will be on the description down below if you need them you just copy them stay safe guys i hope you have a great day and have a good one